Hey, this is Mateo and this is another chapter of Software Tool Reviews and today we'll be reviewing the most famous CSS library, Bootstrap. Let's get started. So Bootstrap, for those who don't know, is a CSS third-party library uh, that I find very useful and very practical. However, you'll find that probably out there people saying that it's the best library, that you should go now and learn Bootstrap from the beginning and you should spend a lot of time learning about it. Don't worry, it's not that fundamental, it just makes things faster and better. If you're starting, the best thing to do is to learn the core technologies, CSS, HTML, JavaScript, so on. And once you're used to these ones and you know enough, you should move to things like third-party libraries like Bootstrap. So depending on the project you're going to be doing, you want to use it or maybe you can do it with an, without the need of Bootstrap, without the need of this third-party library. I'm not an expert in Bootstrap, neither in frontend, I'm a full-stack developer. So today I'm going to give you basically my first experience of using Bootstrap. I've been using it for already four months, that's why I say I'm not an expert. So I'll go through what I've learned and what I would have done differently if I would have started again to learn Bootstrap. So let's get started with the first part, design. Well, first thing to say with design, it's not like other tools that we've been reviewing that you have the design, you can see the user interface. As this is a CSS library, uh, APY, is a different way of understanding design and understanding how it's gonna work. Because Bootstrap is basically just a bunch of lines of code in rotten in JavaScript, CSS, SCSS that we use for improving our designs. What I can really say about its design is that it improves, it will improve the design of your websites way more and with less effort. What I would suggest you guys before using it though is to go and learn a bit about it, do some tutorials, go through its documentation, through its main basics points. The, this is a thing that I learned from experience as I basically <laughs> download it, install it and just try to use it straight away and then learn as I was using it. And this was okay because it's not a very complex tool. You can go to the documentation, see what you need, but I lost a lot, a lot of time trying to figure out what I would need when if I would have done a course, I would already know, okay, this is for this, these are the basics, I'm doing this wrongly. Its website is amazing for doing this, it has a good documentation, it has a blog with new updates, it has many, many other elements in its website where it creates a community and where it, can sh where it shows easily the things you are going to need. and the main basic elements and components. There are also other third-party websites that show the benefits of Bootstrap, what each element is in a real example, which I found very useful, especially when trying to figure out what should I be using, what is this gonna be doing, what are the advantages, disadvantages, pros, cons, and so on. So yeah, this tool is definitely gonna improve a lot your future projects, your future websites. And this takes us to the next point, which is performance. Bootstrap is an amazing tool that let you use its classes to create a neat and responsive design. And this is very important. Bootstrap is responsive, which means that it doesn't matter the size of the computer, the iPad, the phone is gonna be using the, your website, that the whole website is gonna adjust itself to its size, which is for front-end developers, I can say it's the most important thing and the most the thing that brings more headaches to us. It also includes a library of icons that I find quite, quite useful because sometimes you're designing a prototype or designing a real website and you don't want to spend too much time like drawing or preparing the SVG file for doing the icon and Bootstrap just by writing a class in a div or in a button, you already have that icon ready. Things like badges, alerts, toasts, navigation and sidebars, panels, buttons and so on are pre-designed with a variety of styles and you just need to write the right class on a div and it's ready to use. So that's amazing because there are a lot of 
pre-made components that you're gonna be using in your websites that you don't need to care about for creating the templates already there you just need to adjust it and adapt it to whatever you want it to be looking like Moreover, it has many elements, many features designed to be able to organize your elements in the website, your components in a very fast and efficient way using calls, using containers, using fluidity. Furthermore, it uses a CSS compiler that works very well and is very fast. As you can see, it has a ton of features, templates, styles that you can be using and it's gonna really save you a lot of time and therefore a lot of money. And this takes us to our third point of analysis, which is the learning curve. So in terms of learning Bootstrap, it shouldn't take you too much time, but you definitely wanna spend a little bit of time doing some tutorials, as I said, or going through its documentation, going through its web page, going through other third-party web pages that show you how Bootstrap works, so the best, the best methods for using it. And this is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of rewriting code that then you need to do. So yeah, the learning curve shouldn't be a big challenge, but you definitely have to spend some time learning about it so that you can take the greatest potential out of this amazing tool and just to know enough features for saving a lot of time. Finally, in terms of price, Bootstrap is completely free. You just have to download it. It's also very easy to install it and it's not very worthy, the, the Bootstrap library. It's quite light. So to sum up guys, I really think this is an amazing tool for saving up time and for managing CSS and HTML in a better, neater and better looking way. So yeah, I would recommend you if you're a beginner, go to its website, download it, start editing it take a couple of tutorials on, on YouTube uh, or just go through, learn, read about its documentation, read its main pages, and then just practice and practice and practice. And this is the best way you're gonna really learn about it and you're gonna get faster and faster in front end. So that's pretty much it. Really recommendable tool, especially for front ends or even for back ends I want to try with front end, but don't want to spend that much of time learning about CSS. And I hope you guys like this video, if so, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and remember that this weekend we are back with our tech news where we review the most important relevant news in the terms of technology of the week. See you on the next one!